Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Let's talk about the tropics. No hype, just giving you informed and updated on what's happening out here today. And of course, we have Gabrielle, still the Cat 3. But then we have Invest 93 and 94L. Now, these are uh, likely to develop, if not over the next 24 hours, in the case of uh, 93L. 94 could be in the next seven days. I think one of the big things with both of these, though, is they, at least at this point, look like they're going to turn out to C. But 94, if this does develop, a little bit closer to the coast could bring some coastal impact especially sunday and the monday across florida but the exact track and potential local impacts for any of our coastal areas is rather uncertain and this is often the case when we're talking about a fujiwara effect type setup basically you have both of these areas out here um like I mentioned, there's 94 and, or excuse me, 93 and 94, and they're just too close to each other. Now, they're not going to get absorbed into each other, and you're not going to get like a mega super storm. A lot of people think that's what happens, but what really goes on is either one storm kind of cannibalizes the other, and it looks like that could be with 90, the one to the right here cannibalizing the one towards the left, if they get close enough. If they're just far enough away, though, it brings like this just uncertainty, and basically they start to kind of pick pinwheel around each other. Uh, Sakui Fujiwara, a Japanese meteorologist in the 1920s, first absorbed this, observed this, excuse me. Um, and it, it really does create a lot of uncertainty in the models. And this is why, you know, see right here with this guidance, it shows it kind of shifting off towards north. But if we look at 94L, you see how there's kind of these splits. Some goes to the west, some tracks further north, some bounces off towards the east. And actually, if you look at the Euro and the GFS, you can kind of see how 93 is trying to absorb and pull 94 towards the right so this is what kind of what happens and that would be the best case scenario but there are some guidances that really kind of show these almost pinwheeling a little bit and it's definitely uncertain but at least at this time um I think the big takeaway is you're going to be looking at some rough coastal conditions across the Bahamas, Florida, even over towards the Carolina coastline. Rip current risk definitely increasing until the early part of next week with an onshore flow and it's strong northerly winds. Right here, the GFS kind of shows that one to the right absorbing the one to the left, and that keeps the storm well offshore, while the ECMWF is kind of showing both of them staying separate with 94L actually developing a little closer to the coast of Florida. This is just another emphasis on the uncertainty here. I personally think, based on the satellite imagery right now, that the one to the right is going to absorb this up and kind of pull it away, and you'll get some coastal rough surf and rain and things like that, but not a full-on uh, hurricane. But I think at this point, yeah, you got to keep checking back in. We have the First Coast News app. Keep you posted on there. You're watching this video right now, so you're already ahead of the game trying to stay informed. But, you know, you can also check out our streams. We're always streaming on FCN Plus with the latest information. Um, can't tell you if these either of these do go into the Caribbean. There's a lot of energy out there. This is just showing not only sur sea surface temperature, but the extent of the heat down below the sea surface and uh yeah, there's plenty of energy for a system to continue to strengthen. So lots of questions. Of course, I'm going to always do my best to keep you posted out here. Um, and yeah, next name storm is Humberto uh, and then Imelda uh, right after that. By the way, I also mentioned Gabrielle, uh, still a hurricane, still heading towards the east. Winds right now at 115 miles per hour. It's moving towards the east at 25 miles per hour could be a big massive wave maker for the a the wave maker for the Azores and around Portugal here in Western Europe. I don't think they're going to get impacted by a hurricane, but they are going to be looking at definitely a powerful extra tropical storm as it heads off into their direction. As always, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, though. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. And um, yeah, thanks for stopping by.